here you can see the case that I'm working with and effectively there's a whole bunch of stuff behind here in terms of drive bays that needs to be removed. Open that. You can see what I'm talking about is drive bays, more drive bays, and well, more drive bays. <laughs> a lot of drive bays. The thinking is that I should cut this down to about here to make space for this fairly chunky radiator and fan combo. I mean, technically, I could put it in like that already, but should I? Because we've got the power cables and things that are going to be right there. Yeah, I'd rather cut these things outside of the case. Let's loosen what we have to loosen and get it out. Now we can access the little, much harder to see screws. Uh, they're black countersunk screws, but there's quite a few of them. Ooh, well that's not good at all. And yep, if you guess, there's more screws holding it on from the other side, then you're right. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of screws. I'm very glad to be using the... Quite a hunk of steel, eh? Of course, the PC speaker would be attached to this part of the uh, chassis. There we go. Slightly more ventilation holes, eh? Well, fewer holes, but much bigger. <laughs> right, so my thinking is to cut this off about here, and then I can reuse these holes as tie-on points to put the radiator here. Well, that's for later, but we need to try and cater for it now. And I've put these two on top of each other because, well, they attach the same point in the case, so if I align them like that, then that'll be where to you know cut them off to have them the same which will just make mounting the radiator easier we can cut this about here leaving three holes in other words one two three and then as much as we can of that let's see what we can draw on this thing with what's the saying about measuring and marking twice and then cutting once <laughs> Yeah, once the angle grinder is at it, there won't be much left. That's where something like this can be used to measure and transfer like that. So. And there we go. Okay, I've made a decision. I'm going to try and cut it like that, and then just there and there. And you can see on the inside it's a bit easier to, to figure out what's been done. It's been folded over, and this side's been folded out. Oh, I think I'll do that just for making it lighter, because currently it's very heavy, and it'll be heavier with a radiator in there. And these three and a half inch drive bays will never be used for that purpose. It's good cracking, or cutting. <laughs> if you're not using an angle grinder, are you case modding hard enough, right? No, I've got two. <laughs> well, it's certainly going to save a lot of weight, right? And Voila! Cut it off, right? Okay, a far more gentle machine for the belt sander.
can see just there you just get the pliers to take the bottom of the hole that was you know cut through and because i don't like getting cut working in cases i'd rather smooth them off Oh no, I could find my deburring tool. You know, it's supposed to run it up and down a few times. But, yep. I don't know where I put that. Oh, and I touched the belt center with my thumb. That's actually not so bad. I'd rather that than the angle grinder, right? If you don't have a file, some sandpaper will also work. Right, time to do a bit of assembly, right? Do, do, do. That's done. And then we've got this one. Oh, that looks better. It's all coming together, right? I'd say that's pretty good. Then we need to figure out how much this one needs to be cut off. Because, as you can see on the front, top two are recessed in and then the bottom one is flush yeah okay so now the plan is to take this one off and mark it and we need to remember that we need to cut off on not on the line but to the left of the line because of the way I marked it maybe I can draw another line you know just to the left of this one and then we can cut on that Right, got some nice big holes now, about eight mils, so that uh, just just under a third of an inch. And then just to get these holes to not be so rough or sharp, I should say, just using the very tip of the file, get in there and smooth it off. And then just make sure that the, all the little iron filings or steel shavings or whatever you want to call them, conductive pieces of metal, which are small and can get everywhere and mess up your computer, is what they should be called. So just make sure we get those all off before we install anything. So mounting holes and some new mounting holes, so four in total. Happy days. Right, and here's the after. So these are the first two that we cut. And we cut this one to match. These are the holes we drilled, and ended up not using this one. Still could, but I figured out when you're using zip ties, there's obviously two in the back there. You can see there's one sticking out over there. Yeah, it, it's not going anywhere. It's very well attached. If I push any hard, I'm going to start moving the entire case. And yep, that's the space. Got lots of open area here without cables or pipes or tubes getting in the way of the airflow. Be sure it's going to be a massive improvement in cooling performance. Much lower temperatures for the CPU. Hope you enjoyed the manic case modding.